Hi, welcome to this video, the first in my series on looking at the continuous uniform or rectangular distribution as some people call it. And the best way I can describe this distribution is by saying, suppose we took a line and we had two markers on it. And let's say that the distance of the first marker from, say, the end of the line here at the point O is, say, a unit. So in other words, it's a units to that point there. And for this marker here, let's say it's a distance of B units from O. Now suppose you're asked to put a cross somewhere in between A and B. And let's assume that where you place this cross is equally likely. You're not biased to putting it in the middle. You can put it absolutely anywhere you like in this interval. So let's suppose you put the cross at that point there. And the distance from O to that cross is a distance of X units. Now if we were to look at a probability density function, f of x, and look at the sketch of that probability density function from a graphical point of view, then this axis is x, the distance back to O. We would find that we would have a graph looking something like this. If we take our point A, let's just mark that in directly below that, A, and we take our point B, mark it down there, then we'd have a horizontal line going between A and B. This horizontal line would be of a fixed value, a constant value, let's call that value K. And when we're outside of the region from A, less than A or more than B, we'd find out that f of x was zero. So our graph would look something like this. And if we join from here straight the way down to A and from here straight the way down to B, we've got a rectangle. So hence the name rectangular distribution. So if we were looking at our random variable x that described, say, the distance from the cross that we mark in this interval A to B back to O, then we would say that our random variable x is distributed uniformly, that's a U then, in between the interval A to B, or with parameters A and B. You'll also find that this can be written not just with a U, but it could be written as x is distributed as a rectangular distribution between the limits a and b or with parameters a and b. And you could also find that we don't use square brackets but they could be curved brackets here. So essentially you're going to have the notation looking something like this, okay? We'll just say x can follow this distribution or it can be written like this. Now if we look at the point x, okay, up here where we've marked the cross, then if I project that straight down here onto our graph, what we've got is this value here, x. And if we're looking for the probability of being less than or equal to that observed value, x, then it is given by the area in here. Let's just shade it, okay? So how am I going to work out that area? Well, being a rectangle, it's just going to be this distance, which is k units, multiplied by this length, which is going to be x minus a. So that probability is going to be k multiplied by x minus a. And we'll return to this idea later on. Now when it comes to defining what this probability density function is, then let's just work at that. The probability density function, for short PDF, is given by f of x, where f of x comes in two parts. 
So what are those two parts? Well, first of all, this stretch of the graph is always that constant k. So we'll just put k there. And that's for the stretch where x lies somewhere in this interval a to b. So x is between a and b. And when x is outside of this region, in other words, when x is less than a or when x is more than b, then you can see that f of x is 0. So we write 0 otherwise. And this defines the PDF for our continuous, uniform or rectangular distribution. But what about this constant k? What is that value? Well, it's going to vary from one distribution to the other, but essentially we can always see that because the probability of x lying somewhere in this interval is guaranteed, in other words, its probability is going to be 1. Let's just write this down. Now, the probability that our random variable x is going to lie between a and b, we know that's guaranteed. It's going to be 1. So this probability is given by the area contained in the whole rectangle here. And the area of the whole rectangle is going to be k, that length there, multiplied by this length, which is b minus a. So we know that therefore k multiplied by b minus a must equal 1. And if we divide both sides by b minus a, you get that the constant k is going to be 1 divided by b minus a. So in this introductory video then, all I've done is just show you what the sketch of the probability density function for a continuous uniform rectangular distribution looks like. It always looks like this, okay? You can get values of a which are going to be to the left of zero, okay? They might be negative values. You'll see that come through in various questions that you do on this. But essentially, it's got this rectangular shape and zero otherwise defined by this probability density function where that constant k is always given by this value here. So what we're going to be doing in the next video is we're going to look further at this distribution. I'm going to show you how we can work out examples where we are asked to work out what k is and also some probability based questions. So I hope you'll have a look at that if you found this one useful. And the best place to find this series and links to the further videos is on my website. Just go to the statistics section and look in the index there for the continuous uniform distribution. And you should find this video and links to the others in this series. All right.